Good afternoon. I'm back with another episode of the FM24 Dynamo Tbilisi and Georgia national team. And basically where you left us off last, we literally were just trying to get up as high as possible with Dynamo Tbilisi. Um, but now we concentrate on the Georgian national team. We have two games coming up now um, for the Georgian national team. We have Romania and then we have Wales. So I'll be back in a sec and we'll do the first game with, with the Georgian national team. Right, we're back. Um, since I stupidly holidayed, it hit the stupid bug again of not falling up at the Donna. So it is very frustrating that the assistant manager or whoever's picking the squad doesn't seem to pick our best player. I don't know why it happens. Um, it does. I might have. I'm, what I might do is get rid of the current assistant manager of Georgia after this game, or after the two games, sorry, and then basically bring in a new one, hoping that that will fix it. It might not. It's probably just a bug in the game. That there's nothing I can do about. I've just got to try and keep on top of the squad selections. So, right then, let's start this game. Let's see how it goes. Um, I don't think there's any major surprises in the lineup. I mean, like I said, I don't really know the Georgia national team that well. Um, I know the goalkeeper's good. I know that, that Mika, Mika, Mika Tadzi, or whatever his name is, I think he's the one that's just recently signed, as of today, signed for Leon. Oh, I forgot to change this, sorry. Um, I don't want commentary only. Key highlights. Right, got an injury already, not good. We're losing 1-0, which is not good. Good tackle. I love to see that. Right, let's see how we get on. We're losing one nil. Hopefully we can get back in the game here. Beautiful over the top ball. Great finish there by um Hillville Tier. Yeah. So Hillville Hillville Tire. Hillville Tire, sorry. One one, which is Probably reasonable considering Romania have been slightly better than us so far. Yeah, it's very important that we win this game and against Wales as well to try and give us any chance of getting to the Euros. I want to try and replicate what the the, the the team did in real life, but when you're not when you're not when your AI system manager is not picking your best player, it, it is a bit ridiculous and very frustrating. Because imagine if we have this qualifying campaign with Cavadonna playing. <gasps> Playing every, um, every game, we'd have probably qualified. Right, we're looking at 1 1 at half time. Encourage the players. God knows what I'm going to do in FM25 now that they're getting rid of the shouts. I don't know what I'm going to do to try and turn the game on. I might actually have to use some tactical awareness for a change instead of just shouting at them. Good, 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 good. Right. Let's take you off. And we'll put you on. Take you off. And we'll put on no one. We can't. We haven't actually got anybody. Uh, take off. Put on for him. Right. Is this going to be our highlight now? Mama, Mama Dashvili. Who, after Cavadonna, is probably our best player. That was an easy shot for the goalkeeper there. Right. You're coming off. Come on. And we'll put you. Oh. There we go. Um, take you off. I'll be quite taking all players off. Hope we don't get any injuries now. Former to Romania. Driven in. Headed out though. Uh, Romania was the other team that I was thinking about doing this um, this type of save with. I was going to do it as Georgie Haji or uh, Valentin um, or Dan Petrescu, sorry, um, and just have them manage one of the best teams in Romania. Well, I was thinking of 
um, stay a Bucharest or in the division below the top division, and then get them get them up back into the top division. Um, I did it as an off line save instead, but I got I got bored a bit very quickly, so I just didn't bother. That was a great ball. We were very lucky there not to see. But yeah, Romania's got a very good team. They did really well in the Euros. They did a lot better than people expected. Um, they used to be a lot, a lot better than the than they are now. Um, but I spoke to a Uber driver uh, about a year ago, and he said the reason why the Romanian national team is not as good at producing really good players. The, the reason why Romania is not very good. Get in two one. Yes, our uh, VARs coming in. Uh, I don't know. I'll finish the story in a sec. Let's see what happens here. Come on, allow it. Yes. Um, yeah, he said the reason why the the, the there's not the, the Romanian national team is not as good as it used to be is because um, more people, uh, more more owners like rich people in Romania are investing in property more than they're investing in football clubs, which means like Romania is not producing the players that they used to. Are. So you know, and like I said, he's originally from Romania, so he has a better understanding of it than I do. But it was interesting he said that because, like I said, there has been a massive decline. But at least they got into the Euros and they did really well. So hopefully that'll be the start of them bouncing back because they are a very proud footballing nation um, who were very who were very produced some very good players. Georgi Hadji, Popescu, Petrescu. Um, I think there's another one I can't think. Was it no Puskas is the same Hungarian? They have got a player called Puskas though. I would say right. Let's just see this game out now. I'll be really happy if we can keep this win. Actually. Good header. Ah, oh, lucky. Right, come on. Let's see this game out now. I don't want any surprises. We'll be second if we win this game. Good, good, good. Right, that's part one of this. And then if we win, if we beat Wales, who are absolutely who are playing really poorly here. Look at that. That's really bad. That is Wales. They're definitely missing Gareth Bale, aren't they? Um, yeah. If we win the next game, we'll be definitely second. No, no, look, though, we'll probably lose to Wales. You know how it is with me and playing this game at times. Um, right, I'll just holiday. There's no point me going off and come back on again in two seconds. So we'll just holiday this. It won't take very long. Yeah, we're playing Wales next game. They've only got one point. They've conceded. They've got a minus 12 goal difference, so I do think it'll be a straightforward win for us. I say that, but you never know. Uh, go back to this. Is he any good? No, he's pretty good. Doesn't cost us anything. Might as well. Oh yeah, we've um, we've got a youth intake day coming up soon. Managed to sign a few of these. Oh, there we go, we can show you now. So we've got this player called Gela Muzhav, Muzhavanzi, um, right winger, balanced personality, key attributes is dribbling, teamwork, work rate, and natural fitness. And then we've got Alexandre Todria. Uh, That's an easy one to pronounce it, I still butcher that. A, Defensive, central defender, unambitious, unfortunately, so maybe he won't work out, but we'll see. Hopefully we can... Oh, God, another unambitious player. Uh, Misha Firdatsi, striker. Did I just do something? No. Um, yeah, striker. Key attributes is dribbling and balance, I suppose. Actually, let's have a, we didn't look at the key attributes for him, did we? Um, bravery, acceleration, oh sorry, aggression and jump and reach. Decent work rate as well. Like I said, two players that have got ambitious is not good. Oh, another one, unambitious. So we've only got one player out of the youth intake that's probably going to actually do well for us. Um, 18 in bravery though. Defensive midfielder. Also good at long shots and tackling. Decent work rate. I'm just hoping that we can mentor the, change their personality through mentoring. Let's just have a look at him. He's all right. Um, Giga, Arak, Hamia, unambitious again. Are they all unambitious, the ones that we've signed, other than the top one? 
fairly determined. At least there's that. Not very good though. Right then. Ill. Apparently there's a player taking ill. Yeah. Right then, let's see how we get on here. Yeah, definitely need to do something about this Cavadonna situation. They should be automatically selecting him first before anybody else in every squad selection. I've never had that happen in any other save I've done when I've been an international manager. Cabarori. Get in, 1 0. He's a good little striker for us, isn't he? Kavila Talia. Who's he play for? Plays for Apol in Cyprus, but yeah, pretty good strike. Who else does he play for? Is he did he used to play he has played for Dynamo? Oh bloody hell he did really well actually. Twenty four goals in twenty nine games and then he got sold to a T uh, Rapid in Austria. Did okay there but not except World Alight. Went to Ghent for two point seven million, didn't do very well, and then went on loan to a team in Cyprus and then Apol signed him for a bargain price and he's done really well. He'd be a good striker to sign um on football manager if you were like a small European team or something and you wanted a good striker. I think he'd be pretty good to be honest. I don't know how old he is. I'll check in a sec. Didn't look when I looked at the profile. Right, we've got a highlight in our favour. Raining again in Georgia, what a surprise. Always rains in Georgia. Look at that. Got another one, but this is probably going to be disallowed. I think he was too far forward at the time. We will see what the VAR says. No, goal awarded. Get in. Second goal of the game. For him. He is only, he's only 30. So I'm one season in. No, am I? No, I'm not. This is, so yeah, so not too bad. If you want like an experienced striker, you could probably get him for like a million. And he'd probably get like 20 goals for you or something. Right, throw in. Oh, get in. Whoa, Georgia. I hope the, the, the millions and millions of the fans in Georgia are uh, cheering my name right now. Yeah, I did do I did do uh impression of the rock there, I know. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but anyway. Three one. We'll let him have a consolation goal. Then again, it's only the first half. They could have any. They could have a chance of getting back in this game in the second half. If we get another goal, though, we'll be all right. Goal kick handled by us on possession. Beautiful cross. Ooh, what a goal! That keeper could. I thought that was like um, the keeper saved it. Then that's why I was a bit surprised. Patrick. Right, who do I take off? Let's see, we uh, take off him because he's already scored a hat trick. So, who else have we got strikers? We haven't got any strikers. That is annoying. Right, we won't take him off then. We'll only take him off if he gets knackered. 4 1. Easy, easy peasy peasy. Alright, we'll take him off. Put you on. We're gonna get another one or two, maybe. No, lose the ball. And we get it back. Let's see. Or oh, Wales get another one. Close the gap. Make it four two, and then give us something to worry about. I think. I'm hoping we just get the ball off him in a second. Oh, okay. I had a very enjoyable offline save actually recently with Barry Town. Um, I wasn't Wales manager as well. I was just Barry Town on their own, and uh, I managed to win the Welsh League quite a few times. I think it was like other than one season I won the, the, the Welsh League four out. Of, I think I won it four out of the five seasons. I did the same, and um, I managed to win the Europa League with Barry Town as well. I was quite, and I actually managed to get through to the final 16 of the Champions League games as well. So 
but I got and I got frustrated with the safe because I have this file that that helps Scotland um better. So all the Scottish teams had like a ridiculous amount of money. So it just made it a bit unrealistic for me. I I I I downloaded it and put it on there just to see what it was like. Um, but yeah, I was um, it just kind of ruined the save. But I might go back and do another save with Barry Town. I really enjoyed that save. I'm currently doing a youth only save with offline with um, AFC Sudbury. Um, but I'll talk about that in a second. We'll come back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Bear with us. Right, we're back. Now we're back to business with Dynamo. Um, I'll just have a quick look to see when Georgian national team are playing a game. So we won't do it in this episode, but probably next episode we'll have two more qualifying rounds, uh, qualifying matches. So what I'll do is probably play this game and then the next game and then call it a day. And then the next episode will be probably the last episode of the season. So we'll have the two league games and then we'll have the international games and then the final game of the season which is against Sam Gorelli. Uh we're still nine points away from them so we're probably not gonna get um the title but at least we know we're hopefully gonna be in the in Europe next season, fingers crossed. So yeah, right then. So pretty much straightforward team as usual. Um Gordy's up front instead of instead of uh, Ayo Bashvili. I feel like Gordy's leapfrog past him now, and I think he's more of the main man. We're in the blue, the familiar blue home shirt. No highlights so far. I definitely got highlights in there, yeah. Ah, injury already, so definitely. Still no highlights, quite a boring game for the neutrals. Two players have had to come off already after 30 minutes. Not ideal. Ooh, good goal. Petulia. Is it Petulia? Yeah, Petulia with his 14th goal of the season, apparently. So he's already in double digits for the season. G. It'd be nice to uh, nationalise some of my players that aren't Georgian um, to be good. So then there's a potential chance that we can pull them up to the Georgian national team like Aydin Jock and Akwaji. Um But I think it takes like five or six years. I can't remember what it is now. So we'll see. Uh, Ditto is Georgian, so he can get pulled up. But I'm just letting the AI manager do it, assistant manager do it. Um, I actually no, I'm not because I just forgot to tell you. So I figured out what happened. I had so I changed. I've changed the responsibilities now. So I'm in charge of team selection for the Georgia national team. So hopefully it will. If I go on holiday, it will. Um, I don't know if it will automatically just the AI will do it, or it might just stop a holiday while I'm uh, and then ask me to select the team. I don't know. We'll see. Can't remember. I haven't managed an international team in ages. Iron Jock. Petulia. The man of the hour at the moment with the winning goal by looks it so far. Nearly a defensive mistake there. Uh, Reco. Oh, loses the ball. Good save by Loria. Loria, Loria. I don't know how you pronounce his name. I think it's Loria. Romanovsky. Beautiful pass. Iron Jock unfortunately loses the ball. Can't remember what team we're playing now. God, God knows. I forgot to look. I'll have a look in a second. Good defensive play there to get the ball off them. Oh, good header. Go on, Gordy. Good little counter attack coming up here by the looks of it. Ooh, 
Gordy with the shot. Fortunately, offside. Right, who are we playing? Uh, do it this way. So we're playing Dynamo DT. So who are they? Right. Dynamo Batumi. There you go. You thought I'd remember them by now. The problem is when I when I record this episode, um, a week goes by and then I've literally forgot what's happened in the save. It takes me a while to remember everything. Romanovsky with the free kick, nicely saved, I think. Well, no, it wasn't saved. Slightly wide. I think I clicked on the wrong shout there. Good ball. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Two goals for Petulia now on there. Could be getting a hat trick if he carries on, or looks of it. Good punch out there. Oof. Right. Get back on there. Right, okay. So Ditto won't be getting his hat trick because he's knackered, or he has to come off. Put Baratella in there. Uh, Iron Jock can come off. No, he can't. We haven't got anybody to put in for him. Romanowski can come off. Put Ayabashi in there. We'll just leave it as that. Back. We take off our right back. Yes, we can. Turkins, Turkilazzi. Good goal. Santis, ninth goal season for him. He's going to get double digits by the end of the season as well. Oh, what a goal by Oyobash to Billy. He's showing me he's still in the mix here. 4 0. How many goals has Oyobash really got, actually? Have a look. Oh, he's, he's got 15, got 16 goals for the season. I, I didn't think he was doing that well, actually, to be honest. I thought Gordy was doing better than him. How many goals has Gordy got? Gordy, 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 where are you? Gordy. Gordy's got 17. Yeah, so it's really good to have two strikers hitting double digits this season. They could potentially have like 20 goals each, which is amazing considering I play one striker. Yeah, six points behind Zangarelli now, but they have got a game in hand. Ideally, what we need to do is, by the time we end up playing them in the last game of the season, we need to be neck and neck on points with them. Or at least two points. So if we win, um, we win by one point. Unless I've got that completely wrong. But yeah, we need to close that gap as best as possible. All right, we've got a game in nine days. So what I'll do is I'll be back in a sec with the next game. All right, so here we are. We're now playing um, Sam Tredia. Um, a game we should be winning. So Ayobashvili is starting this game. After his display last game when he did really well. I hope he'll go on and do well in this game as well. But at least we've got Gordy so we can change things up very quickly if he doesn't be starting to perform in here. First highlight looks like it's going to us at the moment. At least it's dry. At least it's not raining for a change. Julia gets fouled. I think that's a penalty. It is. Is that Ayobash really to line up to take it? I think it is. I know it's not. It's Ramadusky. There you go. 1 0. Get in. This has been a good episode so far with uh, the Georgian national team and Dynamo themselves. Yeah, it's been a good episode. Good clearance. Ah, oh, I thought Ayobash really was going to run on something. Headed it out. Romanowski. Uh, Baratelia. Get back to Romanowski. Beautiful pass. Ooh. We've got another penalty. They love giving us penalties. Romanowski again, I assume. Yeah. Oh, that was a bit rubbish, that one, mate. One nil so far. 
could have been 2-0 if Romanowski wasn't so cocky. Julia now with the ball, throws it forward on the left wing, gets past the player, passes to Oshkin. We've got another penalty. Unbelievable. Right, Romanowski's got another chance here. He could have had a hat-trick of penalties if he wasn't so arrogant. There you go, he's, go, he's gone for the left corner and driven it in. 12th goal of the season. Absolutely hilarious we've had three penalties in this first half. In the first 18 minutes. Surely they should have had a player sent off. They've had three, if we've had three penalties, that should be at least a couple of bookings. Romanowski, Baratella. Blasted in, there you go. No need for fouling this time, we'll just score instead. Lovely job, mate. Alright, Dog Nancy. Floats it up, headed out though. Back in possession. Julia. Nice bit of slick passing. Oh, we got another penalty. <laughs> Romanowski. Oh, he gets his hat trick of penalties. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. I don't think I've ever seen that. That is so funny. Right. Oh, no. We're going to get another penalty. I feel like this will be a bug if we get another penalty. They just might be really sloppy in defence. You just don't know, do you? I've ordered some more fake shirts, by the way. I've got two PSG shirts come in. Um, this black one, and then there's this, like, I think it's a gold one, but I could be completely wrong on that one. Um, and then... I've got, um, I mean, I know this is a bit horrible to say this. I've, I've ordered the Spain national team shirt. I just really like the shirt. I know it's a bit, I, I'm not going to wear it for a while though, because I think if I wear it anytime in the next couple of weeks, I might get punched by an England fan. Um, but yeah, I've got that. And then I've got the new Bay Mini home shirt, which I really like. And I've got this Man United um, white top with the red and black middle stripes like that. So they're coming at some point this week, so I'll do a review video of them. Ordered them from uh, brafs1.com. They used to be KitGG. Um, it's their backup website. I can't remember what. There is a KitGG website out there, but I think you've got to put in like a number after the KitGG. I think it's like kitggfree.com or something like that. Because um, cause obviously they're selling fake shirts. They get taken off. Um, quite quickly so then they have to put a new website out there and just change the name slightly and they keep doing it over and over again you've got to admire their hustle don't get me wrong i'm not a, like i'm not um i know that the people that work from work under really bad conditions but um at the end of the day you, you probably get that in adidas and knife factories all over the world so that happens everywhere Ah, this is quite concerning. 4-2. It's going to demand a bit more. I don't want them four penalties to count for nothing. Right, Patchouli is not playing well, so we'll take you off. Ah, no, we won't. We haven't got any good form here. Let's see if I can inspire him. Throwing to us, Romanowski. Gives it to, I'm not going to pronounce his name. Um, Iron Jock loses it. Luckily, our defence was on the ball there. Good ball. Unfortunately, Baratelia didn't get onto it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. These four penalties really aren't going to account for anything at this rate. I've got a sinking feeling we're going to draw or lose this game now. I need to shut shop, I think. Focus. There we go. Uh, right, let's get another goal, and then I can relax a bit then. 
referring to us, um, Chuck Eat Annie, Chuck Eat Annie, Romanowski. Oof, he got his fifth goal of the game. Take our right back off, knackered. There we go, 4 3. I mean, I would have liked it at 4 0, but a, a win's a win. Um, closes the gap to five points now. We're neck and neck on games. That's good. Right, let's have a look where we are. What did I, when did I say I was going to finish? I think that's it now, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to call it. Oh no, we've got another game there. We've got Torpedo. I forgot about that. But yeah, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. And then next episode, we'll just play all these games here um, the two league games and then the two qualifying games for the Euros and then the two other league games. Um, but yeah, five points. We still mathematically got a chance. If Sam Gorelli, let's see how they're doing at the moment. So yeah, they've drawn the last two games. So you know, if they lose one or two here, um, and then we get a chance of maybe closing the gap on them. But yeah, anyway, right. I'm going to save the game before we get. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Enjoy the rest of your day. All the best.